So let me show you a little bit how I did the conversion of this uh, very simple blade guide into a roller blade guide. I used um, stainless steel screws with the long shaft. That sort of stuff. And then I put it in my in my three jaw with a little piece of aluminum in uh, in at, at one jaw so that uh, so that the screw sits two and a half millimeters about about that off center. And then I drilled a hole, tapped an M4 thread left a little shoulder here for the bearing for the inner bearing uh, to sit on and then removed some some of the screw head to be able to have clearance all around um, then i took m4 nuts screwed them on a screw and turned them down to an outer diameter of five millimeters so that it fits right into the bearings and uh, these bearings are, let me see, um, five times 12 times four. And um, I didn't want to use an M5 screw because that would be too big. So I, I had, to, had to make these very tiny sleeves, whatever you would call it, that actually can screw on one of these screws here and then you have a beautiful holder that is eccentric and allows for adjustment of the of the blade runs freely has complete clearance from the top and will then be put into an aluminum block that will be then mounted here instead of the the part that we are having here so back at the bandsaw, I now have uh, blade guides with roller bearings ready. These eccentric uh, screws are now in, uh, in a block that is 10 millimeter big. And uh, first of all, I had to mill this aluminum cast housing flat because it, none of the surfaces was actually really perpendicular to this to this guide here. I mean, it's not a precision thing. It runs here in this uh, in this uh, notch in the housing, but nevertheless. And I took off the part where initially this guide here was mounted. There was a hole in there, and this thing was mounted in there instead of the, the new aluminum block that we have here now. I left a very small step here so that I can align the block against the step. I used one screw with a slot here. The first one here was uh, not right. So that I can move the whole block um, from side to side a little bit. And then you have the two, um, the two roller holders in here they also got uh, slotted in the back so that you can easily adjust them you can slightly tighten these here and then use the screwdriver to finally um, align them in a way that they both are sit tight here at the blade what was nice is that the that the housing was still fitting i just had to take off a small corner down here and the other one is actually um, still working what was a little annoying is that in this block here in the middle there was sort of a hole so it was a poorly cast aluminum that uh, i had some difficulties in putting the m5 thread that is, is here that that is used to mount it in but i at the end i ended up um, with this um, with these uh, thread repairment sets that I that I own, and I put a I put a metal spring thread uh, thing in the in, in in this housing here, and now the the screw is can, can be tightened properly and it works fine. 
Besides that, no magic, but uh, astonishing how long it takes just to mill such a small thing and, uh, and mount it to an existing system. Nevertheless, I will put it on the bandsaw and show you uh, how it works. So now it's mounted um, to the saw and you see that there is um, sufficient clearance so that I can also go all the way back if the, for what reasons ever the blade sits, uh, sits a little, little more to the back. Um, this here is adjusted. You can still move them by hand, but you feel that they are touching, that they are touching the blade. And um, it's pretty, uh, pretty stiff, pretty good. Runs also um, smoothly. I have to close the door because there's a security switch that doesn't allow the machine to run when it's still open. Thank you. 